This year, he seemed to have mislaid the script until suddenly he won big three weeks ago. Today, he starts second. Jeff Bodine won the Daytona 500 and thought he had landed the starring role, but inconsistent performances have often left him backstage. He starts 18th. Morgan Shepard never missed a line when he won the Atlanta 500. He's seventh on the grid today. Tim Richmond, look out. This matinee idol gets results. Starts ninth. Richard Petty starting 19th today as he searches for the winning spotlight that has eluded him since he won his 200th race here two years ago. Gail Yarbrough, primitive, aggressive instincts tempered by vast experience. He is winless so far this year, but starts today from the pole, a strong favorite. And while Cale Yarborough holds the pole in going for his fifth firecracker, the big story of speed belongs in this car, number one of Sterling Marlin. On the day of qualifying, he was found to have dry ice in his car, an effort to cool his fuel and achieve higher horsepower. He was caught by the NASCAR posse and qualified on the second day and set a record with the fastest qualifying speed in the history of the Firecracker 400. A little bit more, only thousands of a second more than Cale Yarborough or Bill Elliott, but still the fastest speed ever. But because it was on the second day of qualifying, he could only start in 21st position. The car is rumbling out of turn four into the trioval. The pace car is away, and the Firecracker 400 is moments away from receiving the green flag. Right now, Yarbrough and Baker have won this race in the past. Parsons and Elliott have not. There's Baker on the inside in the white and blue car, momentarily in the lead, Buddy Baker. Buddy Baker on the inside. Bill Elliott high as they come out of turn four, down into the tri-oval and across the start-finish line. The first of 160 laps in the Firecracker 400. Daytona, the drama of the Dream Mile, the celebration of Liberty Weekend, right now on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Firecracker 400, Al Trowick and Sam Posey in Daytona Beach, Florida, watching Buddy Baker, 45 years old and the current leader, although winless in three years. The last event he won was this race three years ago. Dale Earnhardt in second, the only three-time winner this year. Bill Elliott, the superstar last year, the question mark this year in third. Benny Parsons and Cale Yarbrough, the pole sitter, two great veterans in fourth and fifth. This is a 2.5-mile track. And now they run it flat out without as much as even backing off for the turns. Watches Dale Earnhardt in car number three. Does just that, sweeps flat out into the east banking and takes the lead away from Buddy Baker. Sam, what a duel this could be. Errol Flynn in variety with Baker and Earnhardt really meaning business when they slide into a stock car. And smoke on the track. A.J. Foyt, number 14. It looks like a blown engine to me for the Indy veteran. Foyt, of course, has been out of luck for the last few years in major races, but never forget, 20 years ago or so, he won this Firecracker 400 twice, back to back. The lead is Buddy Baker's again as these cars move down the back straight along the shores of Lake Lloyd and past the runways of the Daytona Regional Airport. And here comes Dale Earnhardt again. Well, this is the move he tried last lap. It worked then. Why not try it again? And it does indeed work again. Earnhardt recapturing the lead on the banking. Back and forth they go. Baker, by the way, in an amazing 22nd consecutive start in this event. Earnhardt and Baker and smoke on the track. A crash. Pancho Carter, number 17. And now the other cars have to stay out of his way. And look at that Ooh. car down near Pitt Road, but staying on the track miraculously. Well, there's an ironic touch. Uh, the two Indy men, I believe. Carter may have spun in Foyt's oil. Let's, let's watch this again. The windshield comes right out of that car, pressurized as the car gets sideways by air in the cockpit. And then the two right side tires blow you can't slide sideways that long without blowing the tires only four laps into the race the yellow caution flag is out it certainly could have been a lot worse 
This, of course, is Liberty Weekend, and many of the drivers we're watching today are active celebrants. We spoke to a few of them. Here is Dale Earnhardt on the lady herself. I think the statue stands for liberty. You know, they, they talk about the uh, uh, immigrants or ever what. I think it's more for liberty than anything, but uh, well, I, I don't see any other country I'd rather live in than here. The things we get to do and uh, uh, the system we've got is, I think, pretty good, and uh, it, it works for everybody. It doesn't just work for or, or half of them or some of them. I think it works for pretty much the same for everybody. Lap 11, the track cleared of oil and debris following the crash of Poncho Carter. Here is how they stand. Dale Earnhardt and Buddy Baker still one and two. Benny Parsons, Tim Richmond now in the top five, and Bill Elliott, number five, as Green waves again at Daytona in front of the Fireball Roberts Grandstand, named for the very first winner of this event back in 1959 when Daytona became the leader in super speedway racing and first entered the scene. Earnhardt, the leader, he has been painted a little bit of a bad guy by members of the press, and we asked him why, perhaps. I'm tough to beat. I race hard, and uh, I got a good race team. We work hard, we're positive, and uh, we just go out and, and race hard. And if, uh, if a lot of people don't like it because we're, we're competitive, and uh, you know, sometimes they holler we you know, run too hard, but uh, it's just uh, really aggressive running and uh, competitive racing. We, we go out and do our best, uh, give it 110% plus. Earnhardt's certainly not the type of driver who allows you to cut in line when you're waiting to pay the toll at a toll booth. Dale Earnhardt now, and Tim Richmond has moved into second place, car number 25, around the steep 31-degree banking. Pancho Carter, incidentally, all right, and back in the race, actually, with a fresh set of tires. 42 cars beginning, as only one car has dropped out officially, and that was A.J. Foyt, although there were many cars who had problems following the Pancho Carter crash. Among them, Greg Sachs, the defending champion of the Firecracker 400. Tim Richmond shadowing Dale Earnhardt. Take a look at that sky. Hardly the piercing blue you might expect of Florida here in July. It's overcast. There's a possible threat of rain even today. It's hot, very, very muggy, but not as hot as it's been in the past. There's Buddy Baker uh, moving up into third place. So right now, the top three, Dale Earnhardt, Tim Richmond, and Buddy Baker. Richmond, one of the hotter drivers in Grand National Racing right now. A recent winner at Pocono. He has six top ten finishes this year and almost a quarter of a million dollars in prize money. Not bad for the guy who once sat on the fender at Indy for that fabulous portrait and was the rookie of the year in 1980 there. Richmond, a guy with a very short fuse, though, and I think sometimes he lets his temper flare a little bit, Al. He has a very theatrical time. Who is that? Ron Bouchard slamming into the wall, sending the fans who hug that fence scrambling. And now other cars veering into the infield, others trying to get out of his way. Well, let's see. I mean, I think what happened was Bouchard got tapped. I can't see by whom. He went wide there into the wall. And he ricochets off into Terry Labonte, who in turn right there tags Sterling Marlin. Marlin coming oh so close as Bouchard slamming hard into the wall. So once again, in the Firecracker 400, the yellow is out. Ron Bouchard out of the race. We still have no idea if he is okay. Meanwhile, Cale Yarborough, the pole sitter who qualified at better than 203 miles per hour into the pits, maybe early trouble, maybe just trying to straighten out a few things. Certainly things were better for him yesterday with wife Betty Jo, daughter BJ and Kelly as they celebrated at the beach. Our coverage of the Firecracker 400 will continue shortly.